That's right, and, and Stoney pointed this out off the top that this is the third morning this week that we've had rain on the map. So where is the rain now? Most of it is to the south of Birmingham here. Sylacauga down to Alexander City, 280s rough, uh, State Route 22 as you head from east to west, west to east. Uh, we are looking at some steady rainfall there and really all the way down to the state capital. What we should see overall is rain chances waning as we head towards late morning and early afternoon, but we'll still have to contend with that here early on. What's interesting is uh, back on Sunday, when I was looking at the forecast, I thought maybe we'd see mid 50s all the way as far south as Sylacauga, Centerville, Tuscaloosa. Well, that boundary has essentially stopped right about here, just to the south of Highway 278. We're looking at mid 50s here, but then 66 in Birmingham, 63 in Tuscaloosa. There is some cooler, drier air trying to wedge on in here. It's just going to take some time. So with that said, a lot of us will wake up and be commuting this morning with mostly cloudy skies and showers if you're south of Birmingham here in the early going. SEC baseball, I live like five minutes from the stadium. I was just hoping that uh, we'd see some breaks in the rainfall yesterday. Today, we shouldn't have that issue of rainfall. I think the first game uh, is South Carolina LSU. That's a 1030, and it looks like uh, for that, mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures right around 70. I might lean towards upper 60s in that one just because of the cloud cover. Either way, we're headed towards about an even 80 degrees for those afternoon games. I believe there's four slated for today with the latest game likely uh, first pitch around 8 o'clock. Partly cloudy skies. Temperatures there starting out in the mid 70s. So let's walk you through that with your future view again, noting the rain to the south of Birmingham here and actually clouds will be clearing from north to south here today. A northeasterly wind will set in as a stationary boundary eases to the south. Temperatures will top out around 80 degrees and we'll have a mix of clouds and sunshine here through most of the afternoon. Again, additional rainfall is not really expected to materialize here as some drier air in the mid levels works on in and eventually that should make for a nice and a little bit more comfortable evening for us here across central Alabama. How about Thursday's forecast? If you're a fan of warm weather and the sunshine, this might be the best day for you. Temperatures will easily surge into the low and even mid 80s on Thursday. We'll start out uh, cooler and drier. Temperatures about 58, 59 tomorrow morning and then top out around 85 degrees. If you have plans over Memorial Day weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all look very comparable. We'll have a slight rain chance each of those days, Saturday and Sunday. Very, very stray rain chances here. I think you have a better chance of staying dry through the whole weekend than getting a downpour. And then as we look at your Memorial Day forecast here, temperatures will range from just below average, 79 degrees all the way up to 85. And we'll be partly cloudy. Sunset is at 750, and we can't rule out an isolated shower. But once again, a fairly quiet pattern sets up for us for much of the next several days, including the weekend. Morning lows fairly comfortable. I'd, I'd say upper 50s to low 60s. That's pretty nice for this time of year. Afternoon highs won't be blistering as they can be. We'll be in the low to middle 80s and rain chances stay slim through the next several days.